Hey y'all, it's Liz. How are you? Hey look, I can't get it right tonight. Um, I had, I have to do these videos. I've been holding off on them because of my vacation and then I came home and I was sick and then I had a little surgery and Steve's sick. So let me just, I just want to run through these really quick. And so the first one, um, I'm going to just breeze over it for you. Um, it says here, um, she's having, um, one of my subbies is having some issues with her best friend right now and I need to know how to handle it. Me and my bestie have been friends ever since we were in the fourth grade in elementary school. We're both um, now sophomores in college. Our friendship has stood the test of time, seeing as how much we uh, both moved away to different states when we were younger and we both um, go to two different colleges. <coughs> but we always kept in touch. And now that we both live in the same city that we grew up in, over the years, she has turned into a completely different person. She tries to be a hood rat around the men that she is dating, but behind closed doors, she's calm. She claims to be a Christian. She is very self-centered and self-absorbed. For example, her birthday a couple of weeks ago, um, she decided to have a birthday dinner at TGI Fridays, and she looked very pretty, and her hair was nicely did. But I didn't tell her so. So after we had parted ways and got into our car, she calls me and asks me if she looked good. In my head, I was thinking, did she really just call me and ask me that? Um, but anyways, I told her she did, and she replied, girl, I look too good. My hair is too cute. So I said, did you really call me to tell me this? And she replied, yeah. So I hung up the phone. Mm -hmm. um, I just felt that she's okay my subby's not jealous but she just felt that um, her friend was showboating for some odd reason um, she always says negative things to me such as your shirt is too tight your hips look wide in those jeans or things like that which make me upset because she never and I do mean never pay me any compliments but she's always wanting me to compliment her. Well, in October of 2010, she got her got herself a car, and I congratulated her and everything. I was happy for her. Well, I told her that I was going to get a car also, and I showed her the kind that I wanted and the color that I wanted, which was a deep orange color. Well, in December, my mom surprised me with a car that I wanted for Christmas, but instead I got it in gold instead of orange. My girlfriend came over to see the car, and her response was, I like the orange one better. Hmm. Um, okay, da, 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 friendship. And I'm starting to get fed up with her. Every time she comes over to my house, she expects me to let her borrow my jewelry, my clothes, my shoes, and other things like that, which she never returns. And when she calls, I rarely answer my phone for her because she only wants to talk about herself and what's going on in her life. My question is, should I continue to be friends with her despite the fact that she tries to make me feel inferior to her, or do I cut her loose? And have you ever had a friend that never complimented you but always wanted a, wanted to come? Wait. But you always complimented her. Please help, Liz, before I lose it and completely go off on this girl. Well, um, to be honest, um, I don't, I don't, um, maybe, maybe you should talk to her. I mean, you guys have been friends for a really long time, but I'm going to tell you something. There are women like that who are jealous of their best friends. It's possible. I don't, you know, best friends, but they're still a little envious or a little jealous. Um, maybe she's, um, she's very, um, I don't know if it's self-centered. Uh, she's probably not very comfortable with herself, and that's why she has to find um, ways to down you, but make sure that you uplift her. Um, as far as going off on her, um, I, I would really just... Even friends that, that you've been friends with for a long, long time, you can feed them out of a long-handled spoon. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, she could still be your best friend. 
I damn sure wouldn't want a bestie like that. I'm sorry. I'd rather have my enemy standing next to me because at least I know what that motherfucker's going to do. Um, but I think what you need to do is feed her out of a long handle spoon. Talk to her first and tell her, hey, you know what? It ain't cool how we doing this, you know? You never compliment me. You're always downing me and shit. And as far as borrowing stuff, I don't play that shit. You can't come borrow shit from Liz. Yeah. You know, I don't even like when, when Nikki comes and borrows stuff. You know, because I'm like, no, you want to borrow, you borrow it right here. You don't take it outside the dope. But that's me. Um, you know, she just seems, um, I don't like women like that. You know, I, I, let me tell you, none of my friends are really like that. There's a couple that's a little uppity, um, that think they're better than me sometimes, but they gotta put them in their place, you know, and just be like, hey, you know, um, you know, I let them, sometimes it's best just to let it glide and just say, okay, whatever, fuck it, you know, um, but if I was you, because you guys have been friends for a long time, doesn't mean that, um, everything is sacred, you know what I'm saying? You could be friends with someone for 20, 30 years and still not really know them, you know, so just be careful, and I would, um, you know, talk to her instead of avoiding phone calls. I hate people who avoid phone calls. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but, because I do it sometimes too. And I shouldn't. But if I'm not feeling that well, I will. But um, my thing is, um, instead of avoiding the phone calls, talk to her and tell her how you feel. And tell her that, you know, you've been feeling like this for a while and you didn't, you know, you just wanted to bring it to her attention and see if you guys can move forward from there. Um, and, you know, you get prepared because, um, you might have to just kick old girl to the curb and be done with her, you know, because, uh, I, I just couldn't have a friend like that, you know, bitch, don't call me on my goddamn phone wasting my minutes asking me if you look good, God damn it, did I tell you that you look good? If I didn't, then fuck it. Don't call me and ask me no bullshit like that. How can someone, who has the audacity to, to call someone and say, yo, girl, what's up? I know we just left this banging party, but girl, what, what not cute? And how about if you would have said, uh, fuck no? And she'd be like, wasn't my hair cute? No, bitch, it wasn't cute. It looked all right. You looked all right. That's what you should have told her. Because I know that's what I, because I'd have been like, you, you fucking... Blowing up my phone, wasting my minutes like that? What kind of bullshit is that? Don't fuck with me on my damn cell phone. I'm on a plan. I'm not as paid as you go, but I am on a plan. And I don't appreciate no one, but, you know, just using up my minutes like that on some bullshit. But uh, talk to her and be prepared to just feed her out of a long handle spoon. Honey, you, you know, um, I the way it sounds is I don't really believe deep inside that you trust her. As a bestie, you know, I mean, best friends, you have to be able to put your your total trust in, you know, and a lot of times we as women, you know, we think we got the besties, but we don't. So talk to her, feed her out of a long hand spoon, let her know that you don't appreciate that shit and that she needs to stop downing you, you know, because you don't do that to her. All right. Well, if you guys have any um, advice for her, please leave it below. Maybe I'm all off the radar on this, but, you know, um, before you go off on her, just talk to her first. It might lead up to going off on her, though. All right. Well, you have a great night, and um, please, you guys, leave your comments and advice below for her, um, and I appreciate it. Deuces. Bye.